Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Every time MMO games comes to my mind, I always think of online adventure with excellent graphics and smooth gameplay. MMOs have come a long way in the ever-evolving market of video games, from consoles to PC, and now it has come to smartphones. We do have our own way in choosing what's the best game for us, and some of us tend to choose games with better gameplay, immersive storylines, and breathtaking graphics. One of the trending mobile MMOs currently is Black Desert Mobile, released on December 11 of last year. It is, if not the most anticipated MMO mobile game of 2019. Right now, it is too early to say that it has established its player base. Many players are asking if the game is worth playing as a mobile game like the PC version. And I'm going to give you 5 reasons, 5 reasons not to play Black Desert Mobile. Or, it's the other way around. Large Maps If you are a player who doesn't like their time being taken away by riding some boring mount and running around the large maps, then this game is not for you. Black Desert Mobile boasts of its huge maps and beautiful sceneries. Each area contains a town or two and NPCs that gives you side quests and a handful of rewards. You can also submit looted gifts to the NPCs and increase your bond with them for extra rewards like Black Pearls. Black Pearls is a currency used to purchase in cash shop and trade market. Mini bosses are also spread out around the map for you to kill and get a chance to loot currently and gain gears. Players can also gather materials around the map like wood, stones, and herbs for craftable items. Yeah, you'll get bored of these majestic scenes and detailed trees and grasses. Wish I could take myself for a stream in these clear waters as well. So, if you like MMOs with dull and blunt environment, then this game is not for you. Camp Some MMOs will take a lot of your time grinding to reach top level. But not this game. This game can take your time away in some boring camp. But your own camp. A camp is where you build structures and arrange them, put some decorations, some trees on it. Like SimCity, brah! <laughs> You'll also have your own workers. That's right, your own workers. You can hire them to gather materials and food for your camp while you are in some far far away land having an adventure, killing bosses and doing missions. They can also craft items like potions and outfits. Workers can also be sent in a node and gather silver coins for you even if you are offline. Oh, did I mention your own camp can produce enhancement stones for gear upgrades and give you more combat experience to level up faster? Damn lazy game. Lots of dungeons. This game is not for you if you don't like dark endless caves with lots of goblins in it and at the end big bulky bosses. And you're going to fight them, and not just the fight. Your evasion skills will be tested here as these bosses have their own deadly blows and mechanics for takedowns. Dungeons in Black Desert doesn't just give you a chance to loot and gain gears, but will also give you lots of silver coins, enhancement stones, and gold coins. Gold coins can be used for a chance to get more end game gears from Shikata's shop. Did I even mention this game has three world bosses that spawns at a different time of the day for more chances of better loots? Gameplay The gameplay is as basic as it is like any MMOs. You can play as a warrior, ranger, giant, witch, valkyrie, and sorceress. The characters are gender locked. For example, if you wanted to be a ranger, then you should be playing as a female ranger. If you wanted to be a warrior, you will be playing a male warrior class. PvP It's not all about CP or combat power in this game. You need to have the strategy and mix of skills to take down your contender. You can test your skills in arena for a 1v1 match, node wars for group PvP and guild wars where you are joined by your guildmates to take down an enemy fortress. 
Here a high CT player can be taken down by a lower CT player. You just get to have that skills man. PVE. You can grind as much as you want in this game for XP and better loots. You can leave your character in auto battle mode for hours to farm loots to sell and convert in silver coins. And did I mention that this game has a feature which they call Black Spirit Mode? Black Spirit Mode is an option that if a player goes offline, the character will grind on its own, gather materials and auto fishing. This will also work when the game goes on maintenance. So that means even if you go offline, your character has progress and doesn't remain stagnant. Told ya, lazy game. Graphics. Do I need to see more? Just check out the game, man. Black Desert Mobile has changed my perspective for a mobile MMORPG. A classic game made to fit in a portable device without sacrificing gameplay and quality of graphics. This is the game where a freeloader can obtain all endgame gears including rare outfits without spending a dime. So if you don't like excellent gameplay, amazing graphics and a generous game, then this game is not for you. Now let's talk about emulators. You can find so many of them in the internet today. And some of the popular names are Nox, Bluestocks, LG Player, Game Loop, and the KO player and the list goes on. And while mobile games are increasingly demanding battery power over our handheld devices, those with desktops has turned to emulators. Three of the biggest names in emulators are Bluestox, LG Player and Nox. In this video we shall compare their CPU utilization, the graphics, and compare a bit of how they fare with FPS. My setup I'm using is the AMD FX 8320E for the processor and the RX 580 8GB DDR5 Radeon video card and has a 16GB RAM. Here is Bluestacks at max settings. Notice the utilization for both CPU and GPU on the right side. First, let's try the world boss with uh, more than 10 players in the area. Okay, so here we go for the uh, world boss, Karanda world boss. I never noticed any FPS drops for blue stocks until the end of the world boss using only up to 60% CPU utilization. Okay, now uh, let's try going to the camp. Uh, same here with no FPS drops and the colors are crisp and details are noticeable. Trying to scroll and no FPS drops. In the field, blue stocks stay smooth with no FPS drops as well and CPU utilization barely goes up to 50%. As you can notice, once you install a game in Bluestocks, it will create a desktop shortcut of the game. Next is LD Player at max settings as well. In the camp, notice that it takes a lot of utilization compared to Bluestocks, however colors are not that crisp, though details are still noticeable. FPS is still good with no drops. We go now to the world boss with a high number of players in the same area. Notice our CPU utilization to the right of the screen.
and utilization goes up to 73% higher compared to blue stocks. This is still good as long as the FPS is stable and does not compromise your gameplay. We go now to a larger map with mobs. I can say that um, LD player takes a lot more compared to our first emulator. The way I see it, LG player takes a lot from your CPU to force a smoother environment without sacrificing the quality of graphics and FPS. We go now to our third emulator, which is Nox, at max settings as well. Now, notice how FPS is dropping when I pan my view. It is quite laggy. This is the case even without the rain effects of the game in the camp where you are alone. Also, Nox doesn't have a customized cursor. Alright, now inside the world boss, I feel the heaviness of this player in which there are more than uh, 10 players in the same area and notice seconds of FPS drops. Also notice that there are delays in the effects of the skills due to FPS dropping even though utilization ranges from 45 to 65% only. Now going to the field in larger maps where there are more mobs in the same area, I feel like Nox is forcing itself to give a smoother gameplay. Notice that it is not as smooth compared to Blue Stocks and LG Player, though the utilization of your CPU barely goes up to 60%. So there you go. It actually depends on what emulator you are comfortable with. As for me, I'm currently using LG Player as it is user-friendly and does not compromise my gameplay. Thank you for watching and see you on my next Black Desert Mobile video.